Hello everybody, it's me, Bo Shevasu. This is specifically the large trapezoid version of the Tent Gear Loft. And I actually wanted to show you from square one the unboxing of this so that you guys could kind of get first impressions along with me. And so first of all, I have a scale just to my right and I'm gonna put it on the scale and it reads exactly 1.4 ounces. So this is very lightweight. You can actually see how light and fluffy this is. But for me, the big question was, Holding this entire thing out, you can see it actually comes bundled up together. Looks like the paracord actually has some reflective qualities to it. So if in the middle of the night you have a little tiny headlamp, then you'll be able to see the, the lines quite nicely. Well, that's cool. Okay, so as we untangle this bird's nest, which is somewhat annoying first impressions, but that's why I put my life on the line so that you guys don't have to. All right, hey, there we go, finally. All right, so here we go. It appears to be about that big, like so. Interesting. I actually thought it was gonna be a lot bigger because it says large trapezoid, but this is gonna be absolutely perfect for our three-man tent. I have the Marmot Thor 3P, which stands for three-person, and you will see that uh, when you hang it up like this, and it's going downhill on the end of the shelf, it kind of has this little bucket. So as things slide down like earplugs or uh, headlamps or batteries or things of that nature, they're not actually falling out. And then what I also was kind of having difficulty looking at on the Amazon listing was this little back pocket right here. So it's not just the top, there's an immediate like two back pockets here and here. Isn't that cool? Okay, that's neat. So this will definitely work for my tent um, because you can see like the little plastic clips like this and as you slide it along like this, they stay locked down. That's cool, that is really cool. So it's actually customizable. That was another thing I was wondering, like how locked down am I with this design? So Big Agnes, well done, well done. Thank you for making a uh, tent attic, I call them, uh, that is incredibly lightweight. And personally, if I were you, I would recommend the large trapezoid as opposed to the other smaller kinds, like the little square and the little triangle, uh, unless you're going ultra, ultra, ultra lightweight. Uh, like let's say, for example, you're, you're, you're climbing, you're actually literally climbing, 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 where you're going to be sleeping on the side of a mountain suspended a thousand feet above the valley floor. In that case, you're probably cutting so much weight, you're probably not even looking at a tent attic in the first place. You're just gonna kind of bundle everything in the corner anyway. But for me and my particular uses, which is climbing up Mount Rainier, this is gonna be great because in the middle of the night when you wake up and you're trying to find something, it's nice just to use that vertical space which is uh, right above you in the tent. Uh, by the way, Marmot, if you're listening to this, can you just include a tent attic with your actual tent so I don't need to go out and buy something like this. Now, with that being said, I am happy with this. It's very lightweight, it's versatile, it's big enough for my purposes. So there you go, there's the unboxing. Uh, yeah, I would say that the large trapezoid over the regular trapezoid or large wall or square or triangle is definitely the way to go. I approve of this size right here. Hope this gives you a good visual.